yeah, guys, welcome back to the plant. One of the cool commenters got in and said, how do you turn it off? Like, how do you, how do you stop the water? I can show you this. It's actually really cool. It's a very high-tech system that involves giant steel plates and little tiny wooden pellets. You know the pellets used for a, a pellet stove? We use those to hold back the power of an entire river. So there are a little over 300 cubic feet of water a second going through here. And every now and then we need to stop that. We need to turn that off. So the way we do that is behind the gates back here, we have these big steel plates and hidden under these big steel plates, there is, you see that groove? So this goes way down to the bottom of the river. You wanna, you wanna make really sure you get that back where, where it belongs. You stand on that and fall through and you're gonna have a bad day. A short one, but it's gonna hurt for the entire rest of your life, all 12 seconds of it. So what we put down there is called stop logs, which on their own don't really stop the water and they're not logs, they're, they're giant steel plates. Now in this installation here, it actually takes four of them and we've got two tops and two bottoms because there's two slots out there, left and right. And these are the bottoms here, these two. And this is our state-of-the-art high-tech polymer gasket setup for the bottom. So these sit on the bottom and then these go above them. And you can tell that these are the bottoms, these are the tops because these have the gaskets and these have pockets. And the pockets are where over here, these big holes go, these, these hooks, okay? So we've got eye bolts on these and hooks on these, and these fit in the pockets, they're all aligned. And we get them in and out with a big crane, and that'll stop 99% of the water, but not all of it. So we have a very high-tech, state-of-the-art system involving organic cellulose packing material in order to completely stop all of the water. And the way we do that is we use wood pellets. The, the exact same pellets that you use in a wood stove, like to heat your home, is what we use. You get 50 pound sack of those, and you just start chucking handfuls in there, and the wood pellets will get picked up in the water because they're, they're biodegradable, they're totally organic, they're completely environmentally harmless. I mean, the, the amount of wood and twigs and sticks that, that we have to clean out of the grates here that's already in the river is nuts. So they get sucked right in because they're tiny and they clog up all the little holes because the only places that are leaking are the places where water is flowing through cracks. So these get sucked right into the cracks and then you go to lunch because while you're at lunch, they're gonna lodge in there and swell and make a surprisingly good seal. And with that, by the time you get back from lunch, you're good to go. It's, it's set, it's ready. And that is how we turn it off. We put in big giant steel stop logs and we let nature and gravity and water pack it tight with just little tiny wooden pellets. And when it's all done, we use the big crane right there to hoist it up and out and off you go. Everything comes back online nice and easy. It's a bit of a job. Getting the bottom two out really sucks because they're way underwater and we gotta use a pole to reach down and find the hooks. But it's doable, it's fun, it's exciting. And that's how you do it. So now you know how to turn off a hydroelectric power plant. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden and as always, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.